All right, hello, hello. Good evening, Alma. Mr. Mauricio. Good evening, good evening teacher. Good evening, good to see you. Good evening. Good evening, Mauricio. All right, so we made it, you know, last week. <laughs> yeah, we made it happen over here. That's the idea. Okay. Y que persevera alcanza, ¿verdad? Y que persevera alcanza. That's the same over there. <laughs> All right. Even in the Bible it says, right? You know, los primeros o los últimos serán los primeros. Something like that. All right. Sorry about, me. I'm sorry my lack of knowledge about that, but I used to read the Bible, you know, back in the days. Okay. Um, let's see. I have Noemi. Good evening. And good evening, Mrs. Lorena Peña. Yeah. Right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Uh, you know, this evening we're going to start uh, with a review. Of course, we're going to start with the word of the evening or the word of the night. But after that, we're going to review uh, lesson four and lesson three. Okay. So at least you're going to spend, let's say, 15 minutes working in purse to review lesson three and lesson four, which I think are important because it's about the simple past. Okay. I'm sorry, simple present. Remember the present is always with us. Um, so that's why. So let me just get the presentation over here very quickly. So how are you doing, Frank? I, I just see that you just joined the meeting over here. I'm fine. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. You know, just beginning the last week. It's not that I, I want to get rid of you, you know. <laughs> but <laughs> Now, listen to, to this. Uh, actually, read this expression. Como librarse de alguien. That's what I just said right now. Uh, sorry. I'm, just, I'm writing this message to you in, the, in, in WhatsApp, right? I don't want to get a read of you okay so that's expression over there read off read off at deshacerse okay read off over there all right now i'm just getting the presentation for you now by the way i just need to make some uh, reminders for you all right and the first one uh, you know uh, is the uh, deadline for the uh, platform is, is coming closer. You know, it's this coming Thursday and it, it's uh, midnight on November the 10th. And it's this coming uh, Thursday. Remember that you need to get the 80% uh, at least a passing score, 80% for you to get the certificate and to keep on learning with INSA4 sponsored by, I would say sponsored by INSA4 and, and, and given or, or administered by uh, Ingress Corporativo, all right? If it's the first time you are with Ingress Corporativo, I hope that at least you're getting a good impression, not on me, but you know, the way things are handled in this company, all right? Because at least that's the idea, right? If I were you, if I were a student, and remember, it doesn't really matter that you're not paying directly, but you need to get a good service, all right? And that's the way I see it, okay? And that's the way I see it. Okay, so just one second over here. Um, so I'm going to share with you, to start with, a PDF, all right? A PDF with a review for tonight, okay? So I'm looking for this file right now. In this file, you're going to see some exercises like filling the blanks, matching exercises in, in black and white, okay? It's like a, a workbook. That's what that's the one I'm using model. So just one second. And, but before we move forward, how do you say agua fiestas, by the way? Because that's the word that I have for you. Y no haga trampa. Don't look for it in, in Google, please. I know you don't do it, right? But just in case. <laughs> So how, how do you how do you say uh, agua fiesta? By the way, water party maybe. <laughs> yes. 
So may, maybe maybe that's how you say it, right? So we don't know whether. So let me just one second here. Yeah. So one moment. So any other idea how, how you say uh, agua fiestas, by the way, because that's the word that I have for you this evening, okay? So that's the word that I have for you this evening. Uh-huh. I, I take a note of this word in the other class, and I don't know, it's a killjoy. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you may say that too, but I would think that's not very common. And it's actually the first time I hear that, but you may be right, Frank. I mean, I'm not saying you're wrong. You're wrong at all, no. Okay, so I'm sending the PDF to you and you're gonna practice with two classmates, okay? Which means that I'm going to be dividing you into two uh, breaker rooms. First of all, for example, let's say Frank and Lorena are working together. You're gonna practice you know, some exercises that I'm about to tell you. So can somebody just tell me, yes, I just, got the, the document and I'm able to open it. Can somebody confirm that please? If you don't mind. Alguien que me puede decir yes, eh, eh, Jose, or yes, Francisco, I'm able to, um, to open this. I don't have it. You don't have it. Uh, I sent it to the WhatsApp. So that's the last one you got over there. Oh, I'm did, sorry. Did uh, you send that? Did yeah, you send the document? No. Yeah, I think I sent it to the wrong chat over there. Whoops. Because <laughs> I have another class. Yeah, I'm dreaming over here. Uh, hold on, please. All right, yeah, I was sending some information to you over there, but that's okay. I mean, as long as it's learning, <laughs> I sent some documents to you, which you were not supposed to see, all right? <laughs> Sorry about that. All right. Hold on. Uh, here we go. Yeah, now it went through right now, okay? It went through right now, all right? It, it's, be, it's loading right now, and I'm sorry I'm wasting your time over here. Okay, so just one second. Nice. So let me just start with the word which I just mentioned uh, to you, which means uh, agua fiestas, all right? Maybe you Googled this already, but that's not a problem. I mean, uh, that's where you're going to be uh, looking at into this evening, all right? Okay, so last date of classes will be this coming Thursday, November 10th. And I don't mean that I want, just wanna get rid of you, as I said. No, this is just a friendly reminder, okay? The word of this evening is wet blanket, my friends, all right? Wet blanket, all right? Wet means something with water, like uh, you just shower and blanket is what you use to cover yourself when you're sleeping, okay? Uh, we say cobija, right? Sabana, it's something else, it's cheat. Cheat, con doble, you know, double E, all right? Wet blanket, all right? Wet blanket. Cheat, like a paper bone sheet, it's a sabana, all right? But wet blanket is, is, is something else, it's agua fiesta. For example, if this coming uh, Christmas celebration, somebody at home tells you, uh, turn down the, the music, you will say, please don't be a wet blanket. You know, let me enjoy it at least once. And then your mom, your mom is going to tell you, if you wanna go out, wear a mask, okay? Or don't go out. You're gonna say to your mom, you got a wet blanket, you know? But don't do it because, <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> you're gonna be in trouble yes you're gonna be in trouble <laughs> yeah that's actually better if you say this to a friend you know to a colleague all right to your brother your cousin your sister okay you're like a wet blanket but to adults 
authority be careful with the authority over there <laughs> yes all right some examples actually a definition over here a person who spoils other people's fun but failing to join in with or by disapproving of their activities okay a negative person who tends to ruin other people's go times right Okay, and then we have these examples. Don't be a wet blanket. Don't let Joseph come on, on, on the Vegas trip. He's only going to be a wet blanket and take the fun out of everything. But remember, we gotta be careful over here. And you know, look at this expression, all right? Please, I want you to be careful with this, okay? And the reason I'm using this word is to tell you, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, please, don't use this word okay this one some people are going to tell you that wet blanket and party pooper are exactly the same and actually yes wet blanket and, and, and party pooper are exactly the same but be careful party pooper is disrespectful si usted confía en la persona party pooper you can say that to them because it means wet blanket but if you just want to say wet blanket to anybody, you can say it to your mom, to your brother, like joking, it's okay. Le puede decir agua fiesta a alguien como wet blanket, pero no le puede decir body pooper a cualquiera porque se le va a enojar. All right? Because if you make the translation on, on, online, you're going to see the real meaning. Y esto es literal. All right? So be careful. So be careful with this. All right? De hecho, esto rosa o is close to a bad word, you know, to, to uh, this one. So be careful with that. And people use it in the United States. They use it. Okay. They say a person who ruins a party by either stopping the fab or not participating in a certain activity. Okay. The word itself is not bad, but the way we use it is what makes it, I would say, in a, in a negative meaning. All right. And that's what we know already, okay? And I won't give you more examples because I think it's clear, all right? Now, for this evening, we're gonna keep on practicing the uh, simple, I'm sorry, the present continuous, okay? okay? But first of all, we need to review, we need to review uh, lesson four and lesson three, which mainly they were about the uh, simple present, okay? Right now, I'm gonna open the same PDF that I just sent to you, okay? And let me just tell you what you're gonna practice, please, with a classmate. The first time you are in a breaker room, okay? Let me just open this screen really quick here over here. Just one sec. All right, so questions about the, the word wet blanket? Ahora se sienten empoderados, ¿verdad? You feel like empowered over here. You want to say that. <laughs> no, not really, right? I mean, let me just one second. Let me share the screen. Uh, let me look for this very quickly. Yeah, this one. All right? Sorry about that. Okay. For the sake of, I need to mute your microphones, uh, you know, because of the uh, of the interference over there, and then we're ready. Let me just take this away. Okay. Uh, all right. I want you to uh, scroll down. Scroll down es como bajar la barrita. Scroll down. Scroll down. Y subir la S, scroll up. Simply just like that. If you're using your cell phone, you just tap over there. Scroll up. Scroll down. Okay, so let's scroll up over here. Now you have the, the front page, which is this one. It says, unit three and four review. What's number, oh, unit number three, how much is it? Remember, you learn how to ask for prices, and I, I, I like this one better because of this and that, all right? And then we have uh, number four, I really like hip hop, okay? Yeah, not really, I, I, I like hip hop, but not that much. So that's why we have this image over there, you know, beautifully, by the way. Now, complete these conversations with the correct words. Please do not pay attention to the numbers. They're gonna be in this order, okay? So the first one, it's a conversation in which you gotta use either do or does, all right? Or the verb like or likes, etc. 
but please don't write anything. It's not necessary. So this is gonna be a speaking practice. If you want, you can take notes, no problem. But the idea is number one, okay? Fill in the blanks mentally, all right? Number two, once you finish filling in the blanks, please practice this conversation. As you can see, it's a conversation between Tom and Liz, okay? So that's the point over there. Second activity is this one. It's a reading. It says, read these two interviews, answer the questions. What's the name of the reading? Today, job talk. It says, interviews to people with interesting jobs. And we have Felix, all right? And we have Keisha, all right? And right below, with, with a partner, you're gonna be answering to this, like what does Felix do? And then you're gonna look for the information over here. Esto se llama escanear la información como cuando va al super, right? They scan the, the groceries for you. You know, he, and then he works at home, okay? He works in Southeast Asia. And he says, what does he do at home, et cetera? Uh, what does he do in the Southeast Asia? What does Keisha do? Where does she work? Where, when does she finish work? So since you're gonna be reading this, please take notes. Like imagine this, I'm working with Rosa, all right, Mrs. Lopez. So first of all, you know, to practice your pronunciation, to practice your pronunciation, just read, okay? Like this is this, this, this is a conversation, right? O sea, practiquen la conversación. If you speak, it's just because of the fluency, okay? When you speak, you're practicing your pronunciation and your fluency, right? Of course. But when you read in your mind, silently, you are practicing your understanding, okay? So that's what you're gonna do. Practice in a speaking way, both Felix's interview and then Keisha's interview. And once you finish the practice, you're gonna go below and try to answer this with your class. I mean, like, for example, uh, Miss, Miss Rosa, what does Felix do? You're gonna tell me. He works at home, and then I'm gonna ask you, what does he do at home? He, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, okay? Or you just can tell me all the answers at once over there, like putting like in a paragraph everything in your mind, like uh, you take a photograph over there, okay? And that's it, okay? And then we're gonna continue with the class you know, the other conversation that I have in there. And then later on during the evening, before 10 p.m., we're gonna, co we're gonna come back to this document to keep on reviewing the next uh, exercises about unit three and unit four, okay? And if we don't finish covering this, we're gonna continue with this tomorrow and then covering the other topics that we're missing and practicing in the platform, okay? Are we good, everyone? Any questions, any comments about this? Or everything is okay for you? Or it's, I don't know, maybe too much work for you. All right. So the rooms are, have been open. Okay, Frank, actually you're gonna be practicing with Rosa, Lorena with Roberto, Fernando with Noemi, Alma with Mauricio, and Christopher with Jacqueline, all right? I'll be joining the rooms. So you can so you can actually uh, ask for help if you want, okay? Okay. Um, I practice the in the converse, interviews. conversation. Yeah. yeah. The conversation. Mm -hmm. The fill in the blanks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can, can you um, start, please, Rose? Yes. The first is what does your husband do exactly? Uh -huh. What does your husband do exactly? Uh -huh. uh, he works for a department store. He's a store manager. Uh -huh. Nice. Tom, how does uh -huh. Do, do exactly do uh huh they yes, said uh, he works for a department store he's a store manager 
Yes. Yes. For the. Okay. 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 What song? Who does he no? Yes. Uh -huh. no. How? Uh -huh. How? 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 How does he like? He like. Like. Like it. How, how does he like it? Like it. How, how does he like, like it? it? How does he like it? Mm -hmm. uh, it's an interesting job. He likes like it very much. But okay. for long hours. Um, what do you do? What do you do? See. Sí. He likes it. Yes. Okay. It's an interesting job. He likes like. it very much. Uh, yes. Uh -huh. But like. he see, but he wore long hours. And what do you? But uh, do you dance? But wore long hours. Creo que es work. I'm studying. Perdón. But he work. But he work on hours. And what does you do? ¿Y qué hace? Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. ¿Y tú qué haces? Porque continúa haciendo primera persona. What does? No, no, no. Es hello, hello. I'm sorry to interrupt. Hello, teacher. Yes. Okay. So it is so. Uh, Regresemos un poquito. Dice Liz, dice Liz, dice Liz. It's uh -huh. an interesting, it's an interesting job. He likes, uh -huh. he likes it very much. Está uh -huh. de la but he works long hours. And uh -huh. ahora le pregunta a ella. Uh -huh. And what do you do? Uh -huh. Porque está you, all right? What uh -huh. do you do? What do you do? Uh -huh. Ah, what do you do? I'm a student. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. And then you continue with that. Okay, thank you. Yes. You does works. What what do you do? What do you do? Uh -huh. I work at home and I work in class. Really? Well, what do you do? What do you do at home? I help a practice book in and then I met. That's so interesting. And um, what do you do in South Asia? I make TV from a book done. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Frank. I have to, uh, you know, take you back. Yes. Sorry about that. That, that was a little bit rude, you know, from me, but <laughs> sorry about that. I apologize. The thing is that I think it's better if you practice just the first conversation with someone and I need to give you feedback and just double check if the answers are correct. Okay. So if you like Frank and Rosa, you're going to help me because you're the first ones over here uh, to practice the, uh, the first conversation between Tom and Liz, I think it was. Yes, right? Okay. Yes. So in that way, you're going to help us review the simple present with he and she, right? Do and does and everything more. So we're just going to wait. Let's see for your other classmates who join this. So just one sec. Yeah, I think we're almost full over here. Let me just say this. All right. So everyone, welcome back. What we're going to do before we continue with the next uh, exercise, which is the interview as of the two persons we have uh, uh, let me just get here it's Felix and Keisha before we move forward uh, Frank and Rosa are going to help us practice the previous exercise which is a conversation between Tom and Liz and they're just going to pretend that everything is filled in there, there are no empty spaces in there and we just double check if the grammar is correct. All right. Besides the pronunciation and everything. Thank you, Frank and, and Rosa. Go ahead, please. What does your husband do exactly? He works for a department store. He's a store manager. How does he like it? It's an interesting job. He likes it very much, but uh, he works long hours. 
And what do you do? I'm studying. I study architecture. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Where do you, do you go to school? I go to Lincoln University. My girlfriend goes there too. Really? And what does she study? What and what does she study? Mm -hmm. She studies hotel management. That sounds interesting. Very good job. You know, grammar is perfect and pronunciation is as well. Just some, uh, I would say, suggestion over here in general. Uh, architecture, it would be, Frank. Architecture. It would be architecture over there. Yeah, that's it. I mean, that's basically, uh, that's basically. And uh, yeah, that was good, by the way. Now, if you don't mind, and I'm sorry, I have to, I have to uh, pull you back or I have to bring you back to the main station. Uh, so right now, I'm going to send you to uh, the breaker room. Okay, so you can finish practicing this, but with somebody else. So right now, you're going to be working with somebody else. Okay, so first, practice the conversation between the job talk and, and Felix, which is the guest, and then job talk with Keisha. And try to answer the questions below over there. All right? Oh. Just one second over here. So I'm going to open uh, the rooms if you allow me. Okay. So one second over here. And yes, the rooms are different now. Lorena is with Rosa, Christopher with Noemi, Alma with Fernando, Jacqueline with Mauricio, and Frank with Roberto over there. Okay. So go ahead, please. Yo y ustedes, Félix. Y, y después cambiamos. Ok. 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 Félix, where do you work? I work at, at home. And I work in South Asia. Really? Well, what do you at home? I'm chef. I practice cooking new things. And I think I write cookbooks. I'm a lifeboat. And I give swimming class, swimming, swimming lessons. That's interesting. Do you work at the beach? No, I work at the city pool. How do you like uh, your job? I love it. I work abroad to get a lot of exercise. Do you work all day? No. I work from 9 o'clock in the morning until noon. What do you do in the afternoon? I do. You have an inter interesting life, Felix. Yes, but it's hard work. What do you do, Keisha? Seriously. Mm -hmm. What do you do, Keisha? <laughs> Esta palabra no sé cómo se dice. Let, let me help you. Uh, I'm, it, a I'm a life. Uh -huh. I'm a life guard. Guard. Life guard. Guard. Life guard. Yes. Um, life guard. I'm I'm life guard. And I give swimming lesson. Mm -hmm. Continue. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I. Uh, that's interesting. Do you work at the beach? No, I work at the city pool. How do you. He does a uh, chef. He is a chef. Yeah, chef. Mm -hmm. He is a chef. The tree. What does he do in Southeast Asia? ¿Cómo se pronuncia esto, Francisco? So, Perdón. Yes, no problem. It is uh, South East Asia. South. South. Yeah, but you South. say Southeast Southeast Asia. Asia. Y, Asia. Y es suroeste, ¿verdad? Sureste, ¿verdad? Sureste, sí, sureste. Okay. Yes, okay. Southeast Asia. Southeast Asia. Southeast. Okay. Number. 
what does he do in South East Asia? It's like by the mm. Philippines. Mm -hmm. uh, he he does uh, he does uh, make a program program TV program about mm. Thai cooking. You, you can say he makes TV programs about Thai cooking. Ah, it's in Thailand, so he he works in Thailand. Thailand. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes. He makes a TV program about Thai okay. cooking. Mm -hmm. Thai cooking, yes. Yeah. Number four. What does Keisha do? She's the um, she has lifeguard. 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 Her lifeguard. 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 Okay. Thank you. It's a lifeguard. Life. Number five. What does she work? In, in the, the pool city, <laughs> in city water hall. Yeah, the city pool. Mm -hmm. She work at the city pool. Yes. Now she in the beach. The city pool. <laughs> yes. <laughs> when does she finish work? Mm, no. When the tide goes down, cuando baja la marea, right? when the tide goes down. <laughs> <laughs> no, but she work in the. In the in swimming, the pool, right? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah. What does she finish work? Uh, oh, yeah. She, she finished at the hunting now. Yes, just one thing over there, okay. uh, Frank. Uh, if you allow me whether so remember when you say finish a third person is finishes like goes finishes yeah. finishes finishes and, and let me just take advantage of, of the that you're just in, in this room okay so try to say maybe in your mind not right now frank because we don't have the time maybe when you have time at home okay on vacation you can just say these sentences all together you may say okay felix uh, he was the first one. What's the answer over there? He's a chef, he says, and workers are this. Okay, so Felix is a chef. So he works at home. Uh, he makes uh, uh, TV programs about Thai cooking. Uh, Keisha, she's a, a lifeguard, etc. So it's like if you put everything together in that way, I, I would say it's actually better. Okay, mm. if you say it just like that, because you're describing what someone does. Okay, not just yeah, saying yeah, sentences yeah. in isolation over there. Like if you're giving Practic a presentation. Excuse me? Practicing in my mind. Yes, yes, that helps Thank a lot. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. All right, so I'm going to close the rooms right now because we got to continue because it is 9.40 almost, okay? Okay. Okay. All right. So just one second over here. All right, so welcome back, everyone. It's almost 9.40, so we got to uh, start covering our second topic for the evening, okay? So let me just one second over here. Okay. So just one moment. All right, so I was talking to some of you in the breaker rooms, and I think uh, uh, it what I'm about to tell you might be necessary, all right? Just for you to, uh, I would say, take this to a whole new level, all right, to a higher level, okay? So remember that in these conversations, or I would say in these two interviews, uh, they are asking questions about Felix and about Keisha like where they work, okay, and what they do, if they like it, etc. 
all right? So in total, you have six questions. So in real life, in a job interview, they ask you these questions, but in just one single question. It's like, so tell me about your job experience. What do you do? And in there, you need to start talking about your job. Like you can say, I'm a chef. I make a TV programs about Thai cooking from home. I work from home, etc. And I really like my job. And uh, I have five years of experience making a TV program, etc. So in that way, you talk about your job, okay, at once. O sea, de una sola vez. So it's like putting all the sentences together in your mind, like making a presentation for you or for somebody else. But when it comes to describing some other people's job or job activities, I think it's a good idea to do this. Because right now, my friends, you are practicing and you're learning English. And the more you practice, trust me, you know, the better for you. So third person singular is the most difficult thing to learn, you know, when you're learning English in the simple person. In here, so Felix works at home. He's a chef. He, he makes TV programs about Thai cooking. Uh, uh, what I, on the other hand, we have a Keisha. She's a lifeguard. She gives swimming lessons. She works at the city pool. She loves it very much. She works outdoors and gets uh, lots of exercises, okay? And she says that she works from nine o'clock in the morning until noon, etc. All right, but remember, is the teacher is not the one that needs to practice over here. All right, you are the ones that need to practice over here. So Jose Alfaro is not the one that needs to practice over here. And I don't plan to, uh, I would say, to show off verdad, what I know or what I don't know. But if I want to give you a, an advice, a piece of advice for, for you this evening is that, all right, besides just having the sentences, try to put everything together in your mind or to write a paragraph whenever you have the time, okay? Nice, let's move forward over here. So just one second. Uh, here we go. Now, as you can see in this screen, the one I'm sharing right now with you, all right? Uh, this one has to do with quantifiers or quantifiers. Quantifiers or quantifiers. Like for example, you can say international or you can say international, all right, et cetera. So it's up to you. So if you put percentages like, for example, zero, and then you take this up, all right, you have a hundred, okay? And then let's see how many uh, quantifiers you have in here. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. No one means 0%, and, uh, and all means 100%, all right? You have it all, and you have nothing in there. Nearly, nearly all, or almost all, is 90%, all right? Most is 80% above, all right, or higher. Many is like 70%. A lot of is like 60%. And I will say, my friends, that some is the average. In other words, el promedio, okay? So average, uh, some is the average, like 50%. Now, some textbooks or some people will say that some is more than that, but at least some is like half, okay? Half. Not many is like 40%, and then between few is like 20 or 25%. Okay, and that's the way it is. All right, so lots of, as I said, it could be more than 50, like 60, uh, many is like 70, most is 80, nearly all is like 90, and all is 100%, just like that. All right, and this is just an estimate, but I, I'm 100% sure, and listen to this, I'm 100% sure, o sea que estoy totalmente seguro, that some is 50%, because it's just half way okay it's just halfway and of course all is everything and none is nothing you know zero percent lack of something like you can say remember last time you were talking about a uh, situations that happen in in some countries okay like for example 
we study in Germany. The average age to get married is 31. So instead of saying, you can say some. Some people get married at the age of 31 for men and 28 for women. Now you, you can replace these words with the quantifiers and that's the idea over there. So what would be the quantifier for 85%, by the way, for 85%? 85%. What would be the quantifier for 85%? Uh-huh. Nearly all? It could be it could be nearly all because it's like 90%. Yes. Yes, you can say that. All right. Etc. What about what about in Canada? Like 45% of husbands and wives share the the, the household. What would no be many. the excuse me? No many? Yeah. Yeah, it's actually, uh, it's up to you, you know, what you want to say or what you want to emphasize. Because you don't say some because it's not, it's not really 50% uh, because it's half. You may say not many over there. A lot of and lots of are the same, okay? A lot of and lots of the same, all right? Many, a lot of and some are, and most are very common. People, they just say a lot of people, you know, go to church every Sunday. Or not many people go to church on Sunday over there. Not many people, right? Few, right? Few means it's, it's still a, a good number, uh, but it's not enough over there. You know, few. So muy pocos, right? Or pocos. Okay. Now, your, your next uh, task is going to be to rewrite these sentences using quantifiers, okay? Bear with me just a second. Let me just get something over here. Uh, here we go. If I were you, I would just take note of this hierarchy, you know, of the hierarchy, or say, the hierarchy of the hierarchy from top to the bottom, or from the bottom to the top, or whether, you know, bottom, top, or, whether, or top down. So, and then we have rewrite these sentences using quantifiers. What you gotta do is just to replace the percentage with a quantifier. You have 7%, 0%, 40%, and 23%, okay, percent, all right? And this is the, the one exercise you're gonna be working. The next one is going to be with the same partner, if you like. You're going to arrange the quantifiers from the most to the least. For example, Number one, of course, it's going to be all, all right? And then it's going to follow with, you know what, right? Like nearly all, etc. So copy that, everyone. All right. So first of all, in this grammar exercise, uh, in the previous uh, slide, you just got to replace the percentage with the quantifier and then in the next, uh, in this chart, you got to make like a top 10 of these quantifiers. Number one, it will be the top. And then number 10, no, uh, number nine, I'm sorry, is going to be zero or no or no one or nothing. Okay. So I'm going to send to you this image right now into the chat. Okay. But let me make the, the rooms over here very quickly. Questions about this before I send you to individual uh, breaker rooms. Any questions for me? No question. All right, thanks, Frank. Well, let me just one second. Let me uh, open the rooms again. All right. And here we go. So Fernando, uh, Roberto, Rosa are together, Mauricio, Noemi, Together, Christopher, Carla, together, Alma, Lorena, Frank, and Jacqueline. All right, if you're like faster than me or quicker than me, you were able to get a screenshot as I was speaking over there. But otherwise, you just gotta wait for me to send this to you, okay? So just one second.
few. Two is few. Number three. In India, 0% of the people vote before the age of 18. No one. No one. Yes? No one. Ninguno. Mm -hmm. And 40% of the people in Sweden live alone. 40%. 40. Uh, uh, no money. Uh, no money. Not many. Not many. Not many. Not many. Not many. Not many. Five. Mm -hmm. Five. In Singapore, 23% 20, of the people speak English at home. Few. Three, not many? No. Uh, no. But mm -hmm. A few? 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 Yeah. few. few? A few. Yes, few. Few. A few people for this. Yes. A few people. Or older. Pero... En la India, ese sí ya está el 0%. No, yo no he entendido la estructura. Ah, ok. So, so let me... Ok, hello. Thank Sorry. you, teacher. Yes. You just need to replace, o sea, reemplazar, replace the percentage with the quantifier. Ah, okay. la representación. Ajá. Ajá, por ejemplo, va a decir en la número 3, en India, zero is no one. You would say in India, no one or no one of the people or just no one, no one vote before the age of 18. O sea, puede quitar todo esto, si gusta. O dice solamente, mm -hmm. no one vote before the, patient, before the age of 18 or no one of the people vote before the age of 18. Entonces sería no one. Yeah, Porque no. Es or you can say nobody. Zero percent. Uh -huh. Zero percent, yes. Ah, de eso se trata. Uh -huh. Entonces, en la siguiente pregunta donde dice familias, families are small this day. ¿Es así? Smaller this day. This day, lo que pasa es que usted va a decir a lot of a lot of families are smaller these days, o sea, muchas familias o algunas familias. Of. O sea, depende de lo que usted quiera decir. O de lo que usted sepa, like statistically speaking, de las estadísticas. Usted puede okay. decir nadie, nadie se casa hoy, por ejemplo, antes de los 18. No one gets married before the age of 18. Y eso, o 18. Reemplazando la 3. Uh -huh. Y si yo quiero reemplazar eh, la pregunta 4, donde dice 40% of people in Sudan live alone. Eh, no money, no money people. Exactly, Mr. Mauricio. Don Mauricio. It, it is uh, not many, as, as you said. Yes. 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 That's how you say it. Y la cinco entonces sería sí. la, la respuesta. Uh -huh. Fib, ¿por qué Fib? Few, eh, few, no, porque son pocos. Few. Pocos. Ah, pocos. Ay, pocos o poquitos. Entonces yo tengo que aprender muchas cosas. Ajá, exacto. Ese es exacto. el problema que yo tengo ahorita. Uh -huh. O sea, lo Porque lo si me, me puedo, or son todos. Uh -huh. eh, many, pocos, a lo Son muchos. Ah, ah muchos, o es bastantes, cierto. Bastantes, bastantes, digamos. Uh -huh. Some, algunos. ¿Es así? Uh -huh. Yes, yes, yes. Uh -huh. Entonces, cab cabría en la pregunta que también la cinco podría decir que algunos eh, en la cinco. So, no, 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 porque, porque es el, bien es? bajo el porcentaje, el bien, bien poquitos, uh -huh, bien bajo. Okay. Exacto. So, what you have to do uh, is to learn, you know, aprenderse a learn the percentage and the quantifier, the quantifier, the, the equivalent, yes. o sea, el equivalente, the equivalent. Bueno, no hay más. Okay. 
Yes. Thank you, teacher. Yes. But don't worry. I mean, you don't need to memorize them tonight. You have to use them. Y depende de lo que usted quiera decir. Si usted sabe que, no sé, en su, en su colonia, no sé, eh, no sé, nadie revienta cohetes, por ejemplo, puede decir, no one in my neighborhood uh, uses a fireworks or something like that. <laughs> Pero si usted quiere decir Pero todo el mundo. Pero contrario, ajá. Ajá, ajá, everybody, right? Or all. Everybody, or all or, families. Ajá, all my, all my neighbors. All my neighbors en ajá. todo mi vecindario. Ajá, ajá. So uh -huh. it, it actually depends de lo que usted sepa o lo que quiere decir what you want to say. That's the point of that. Exactly. Uh -huh. O sea, no es que se lo vaya a memorizar así, sino que it has to make sense. It has to make sense. No es que va a decir tipo cantinfla que quiere decir un montón y no dice nada, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces, but that's the point. So let's continue with the next one. On, the, on this exercise, as you can see on my screen, you have to organize the quantifiers. Y este es el ejercicio que le va a servir para memorizárselo, ¿verdad? Okay. Is, for example, vamos a comenzar del mayor al menor, pero vamos a comenzar de un número bajo al número mayor. O sea, es al revés. For example, number okay. one is, is 100%, is all. Oh. Entonces, no, number two would be 90%, 80%, 60%, y así hasta llegar a cero, which is no, no, or no one. Ok. Ok. Uh -huh. Just like that. Vamos a ver cuál sería el siguiente. Eh... Sí. Pero fíjese que ahí sí, sí. Ah, creo que ese, se aplica el feel. Mm. Ah, sí, sí, sí. Ajá, feeling is, is like um, less of 20, 20%, 25%. Pero en la, en la práctica sí decía few, a few, no one. Ajá, no one, yeah. Because no one when nobody go. Or nobody. Exactly. Hello. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, you can say nobody, no one, nothing, etc. Right. Okay. Or you can also say none. Same thing. Mm -hmm. For example, you can say uh, nobody in my neighborhood uh, uh, explodes fireworks. Okay, or uses fireworks. Right. Revienta cohetes. Like we say, right? <laughs> like, but the the old the school one, right? Los, los que sí revientan, right? Those ones, right? No. <laughs> yes. So nobody, right? Yes. Now, what what's important over here? I would say, uh, Lorena and Alma is not to memorize them, like if you want to memorize them all, but at least to try to make sense, I would say. For example, if you want to say that in your neighborhood, nobody uh, has a dog, you can say, uh, I mean, nobody, right? Or no one has a dog or has, or, or, or you can say oh, all my neighbors res respect, okay, privacy, all right? They don't park you know in the street when they where they are not supposed to etc or mm -hmm. you can say just some of my neighbors you know don't respect my parking space you can say that mm -hmm. so it, it actually depends what you want to say yes Lauren? Uh, the, the, the quantifiers i like um the similars like uh usually uh, these are these are adverse the things that we use them to count you know to count okay mm -hmm. But in this case, we're not counting the frequency because what you're telling me is the adverse of frequency. Like, for example, you say, I always, yes, it means 100%, but that's the frequency. Like, how many times you do something or how many times you don't do something? Yeah, that's the difference over there. Then we're, we're finished. Yeah, I, yeah, I, you can go to sleep already. <laughs> Go back. Yes, you see? Yeah. You know, I, I'm like a magician, you know, I'm like a magician. I go, I make the time, you know, go like this. 
<laughs> I wish, right? I wish. <laughs> All right, so welcome everyone. Actually, I gotta say goodbye and thank you for being here. Tomorrow, we're gonna uh, review this, okay? So tomorrow we're going to double check. Double check means cerciorarse, all right? You know, that's why the Spanish language is beautiful and it's, I would say, more difficult than English sometimes. Uh, because, you know, uh, tomorrow we're gonna double check this, these responses, all right? And you're gonna tell me, you know, the numbers you put over here, okay? The top nine, okay? Yeah. So have a great night. Hope to see you tomorrow. Bye -bye. And God bless you. All right. You too. <laughs> Good night. Good night. <laughs> like, God bless you. Like, like the news, right? <laughs> Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night. <laughs> Bye.